this playoff segment, I know Ray touched on it a little bit. I'm going to give Cardell and Octavia a chance to talk on it as well. Um, Washington, Seattle in a 4 5 matchup. We all remember a couple weeks ago, Washington got to be kicking themselves a little bit, had an opportunity to be hosting this. However, some of the things that they've done led to this right here, where you're now going across the country instead of inviting Seattle across the country to your home where you won a championship, going on the road to Seattle. Um, these two teams aren't exactly strangers to facing each other in the, in the postseason. Cardell, your thoughts on this matchup? Yeah, this is a tough one. Uh, this is the one series I think will go the distance. Uh, look, man, uh, Washington can beat this team if they don't beat themselves. Uh, that, <laughs> that's, that's the only question. Like, that's what got me nervous because if, if, if they don't have these spurts where they just get ice cold offensively, turn the ball over, then I'd be like, I think they can get them because they're deeper than Seattle, honestly. You know what I'm saying? But Seattle is so well coached and, and just a well-oiled machine that their role players maximize their roles, even though they may not be as talented. Like, say, Ottawa is not as talented. McBeggar is not as effective, say, as a Maisha Hines Island or whatever. You know what I mean? At this current stage. But she understands her role and she's taking discipline of role. So, it looks like she is more effective something when they match up. A lot of times it goes back and forth when really Hines Island should win that matchup. And I'm just using that as an example. The thing that has me worried outside of Seattle, you know, with their they up there with assists, they don't turn the ball over, but they turn you over. Uh they thrive off that. The thing that has me worried about them is that they have the guards to put pressure on where Washington is weak at, and that's their back front line, the front court. Uh, when the front court has to like defend and close out outside Shakir, that's when teams give them problems and stuff. And um, and, and I'm a, I'm gonna plug this got a pro comment where I'm talking about how Jewel Lloyd took him out a couple weeks ago, and watch that film. I'm gonna break it down like how what, what she was aiming at, and that's a problem. And and that's why the games were close. And, um, she attacked Hines Allen, who can be undisciplined on defense. She attacked Deladon, who we know has had back problems. She can't move as well. And even though she has experience, and then they attack Shakir, testing her experience and poise to see if she was to be disciplined. And they got great looks. And, and if they would have hit more shots, it wouldn't have been close in that first game. You know what I mean? Now, Cloud and Atkins and, and uh, Alicia Clark, they're going to strap. Like, you're not going to get nothing easy with that. It's the, it's the front court when they get into that second half of the defense is where I'm worried about, especially off pick and rolls, because those Washington bigs don't like to close out. They don't like to hedge out. They give up, they give those guards a lot of space. And you don't want to give Stewie, especially Jewel Lloyd, she already took him out once this season. You don't want to give her. And Sue Bird is capable. You know what I mean? So it's playoff time, so you're going to see them playing all the maximum effort. Like Sue Bird coming off that screen, if you're not on it, she, she's letting it fly. Whereas in the regular season, I'm going to take my time, get Stewie going. It ain't going to be none of that. That's what has me concerned um, because Washington has been up and down all season in that in that area. So it's hard for me to just be like, all right, they're they going to be straight. I don't know. And you also got to understand with a, with a lot of players on the team that they count on, Shakira, uh, you know, Rui, that play heavy minutes or whatnot. Uh, Elizabeth, I know she's been in the playoffs before, but she ain't been in there in a minute with Atlanta, being down in Atlanta. A different ball game now, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it, it, it's it's gonna be interesting. They're they're capable of winning, but I do expect it to go to distance, man. And because Dell and Don we gonna cancel each other out, you know. I'm not they gonna go back and forth, that's gonna cancel each other out. Uh, but they gotta do something on picking roles with Drew Lloyd and, and Sue Bird, man. And Cloud, she she can't be off, she got to score. Uh, she, it's not enough for her to just facilitate. Because I think Sue's gonna be more. She's gonna be extra aggressive, and uh, they can't have Seattle's bench outplay them like they did at one game. And they lost a couple weeks weeks ago. With Tower came in the game, he, uh, Epiphany Prince came in the game, got a few steals, scored, and obviously McBeggar, who's six four, six five. She's a presence inside. Uh, it, they just can't allow that man. So they they they're very close in, in matchups and stuff like that. As far as everything being equal. Uh, it's just who executes better. And from what we've seen throughout the season, Seattle executes better, more consistently. You just got to keep the bucks. So that's why I think that Andy got home court. So 
you got to give them a slight edge right now, but I do expect it to go the distance. I'd say be your thoughts on a uh, mystic storm. I mean, Cardell covered pretty much all of it. I mean, the number one thing that I thought about was Jewel Lloyd. Like, the when they played against them the last couple of games, like, she did exactly what Cardell said. She went at the bigs, and it, she was killing them. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that's going to be the biggest thing. I definitely think, like he said, uh, Deladonna and Stu are going to kind of cancel each other out, and I think uh, Shakira, you know, plays good defense around her as well. Um, but I really think the biggest thing, like you said, is turnovers, and when they go ice cold on the offensive on the offensive side of the of the ball because it's it seems to come in like long periods of lulls. So it's not like it just kind of they have like a little bit of time out, <laughs> but it's like you, it, it kind of it, it it slows down the entire game from them. It, it seems like they're right there neck and neck. I think they were like th- tied at, tied at halftime, thirty five thirty five last time they played, um, and then they go on these stretches where they can't score and then they can't stop them and. Um, they were getting a lot of points off of turnovers, so they definitely have to minimize their turnovers. And then, like you said, Alicia Clark, um, I think she has to shoot better. You know, this is one of her lowest three-point shooting um, seasons, um, and she's she's a knockdown shooter, so I think she has to shoot better. Natasha definitely has to be more aggressive. Um, I know, like you said, she um, is the top assist player this year, um, but she has to be aggressive and, and not always pass up her shots. Um, so I definitely think it's, this is the one series that is going to be a toss up. Um, like I said, I definitely think that the watch the, the mystics can win this series. They just have to be disciplined um, and they have to be ready, you know, at all times and, and not take their foot off the gas at all. So this is the one I'm, of course, because it's the home team, but this is the one I'm really looking forward to seeing. Well, right. Thing, did you, oh, go ahead, Cardo. Thing, just uh, Tasha Cloud need to do the Tina Charles with Drew Lloyd is going to know. Attack Tina, make her play defense because Tina's up there. She's not, she isn't always the most, uh, let's just say, enthusiastic on the defense of that. Mm-hmm. So, and I'm saying, and that, but she's a stretch. She's still averaged with 16 to 9 this season. Yep. So she's a problem. So get her in foul trouble. That's in your favor. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes Tosh can overpass and go go at her, man. Like make mm-hmm. her work. That's what I'm saying. Like y'all, Atkins, go at her. Atkins be blowing me. Look, if you play ball, you got it. Man. Don't settle for that. Don't be like the league, you know what I'm saying, NBA, and just settle for that, like, attack and, and, and get them in trouble because Stewie's different. Like, you can attack her, she can move. So, <laughs> she's going to get that block. That I don't, You can't attack her too many times. You got to be careful. But Tina, I think you can get her in foul trouble. Ray wanted to give you a chance if you had any final thoughts on it. I know you talked about it a little bit earlier, but just want to see if you had any final thoughts on it. Nah, man. I just – um just to echo again what Cardell emphasized, the the discipline and, and consistency and uh and execution. Those those times when they go ice cold offensively and it, it looks like they never played with each other before, that stuff really hurts, man. It can't happen in this series. Cause um yeah, cause Seattle's gonna take advantage of those opportunities in a a two point deficit or turn into seventeen real quick. You know, with with Seattle, with the way they're able to um, convert live ball turnovers and a three point shooting, you can't give them extra opportunities to bury you because they they got shovels on hand, man. So um, so yeah, the Mystics they just gotta they just gotta play the way we know they're capable of. Like y'all said, man, this is about it. It's not it's not if they can do it. It's just taking care of the little things and and just actually doing it. Um, so we we will see. Looking forward to this uh, exciting WNBA postseason. If you guys are follow uh, follow along with us for Mystics Outlook, you guys already know we'll see y'all in the wee hours of I guess what would be Friday morning to talk about it because it is at 10 p.m. start time Eastern, um, and then we'll see you guys again Sunday night. Hopefully Sunday evening. I I didn't even look at the time for Sunday start time just because I'm still getting over the Thursday start time. However.